Right, hi guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to my channel. Um, <clears throat> and a big, big welcome to all my new subscribers. So, uh, I've got a few new subscribers over the past week or so. So, welcome to the channel, guys. Good to see you. Um, just wanted to get out a quick video. Um, I'm going up to Telford this weekend. Um, and if any of you are up there, uh, I've got a feeling that... Gavin's going to be up there, Gavin Booth and uh, Al Wood I think is going up there as well so uh, might bump into you guys, uh, who else is going, uh, Jason over at Model Kit Stuff, he, I think he's going as well um, but yeah, if you, if you uh, bump into me or, or uh, you know if you see me give us a, give us a wave, say hi, uh, be good to meet everybody in person and uh, Anyway, apart from that, uh, have a good weekend if you're not going up to Telford. And if you're in the UK and you get a chance to go to Telford, I, I would highly recommend it. It's brilliant. Um, but in the meantime, let's carry on with the, the Panzer Repair uh, kit and uh, let's see what we've got on the bench. Yeah, so moving on with the kit, what I've done is um, I've constructed one of the, uh, the engines. Um, which I've got in my various pots here um, for the different colours that those parts are going to be so I've got a whole stack of things there but what I've decided to do is I actually had this kit as well um, so I've decided to uh, well it's a bit of a glare on that isn't it I've got sun coming in on the <laughs> through the window um, yeah so I've got uh, this second kit um, which I got because I want, fancied getting the extra um, mechanics or repair crew um, so hopefully um, you should be able to see that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble the, the second engine which I have from this kit so that's what I'm doing at the moment so I'm going through everything I did to get that to the stage where that's going to that's ready for paint on on this second one which is great fun so what I have in in the diorama what I have in mind is to have one engine out or on the way of getting out you know on the rig and another engine sitting by the side um, to maybe replace it maybe what they're doing is just taking a whole engine out um, and just replacing it so that that's that's the sort of that's the sort of picture I've got in my head but um, yeah so moving swiftly on right so moving on from uh, the engine assembly um, one of the next things to do in the kit um, there are a number of, of uh, armaments the shells and things um, and I've highlighted here on these on these diagram um, the decal numbers the shells have got decals on them and it's a, it's a bit of a problem because when you've got if I just pick one up it's uh, you know it's quite a quite a small thing and you've got to get a number of different different uh, decals on there so one of the things I did was go in my scrap bin this is a little tray I've got which is scraps of I don't know plastic card little bits of rod and all sorts of rods and sods in there um, and what I've made up is this little jig um, just made up some scrap pieces of, of card like that and uh, you know if I just hold it there because the, the camera will focus on my hand um, and hopefully that will be able to see that but yeah just made it up I have I had some off cuts of card uh, a couple of pieces of old uh, you know uh, iron <laughs> I, I, sort of an eye, eye, eye beams things um, just bits of scrap um, and what I had because I had a, a piece of card that was big enough I drilled a a five millimeter hole through there cut it in half along the center line and 
made a couple of uh, places there and then what that does is that holds that holds the shell um, while I'm putting the decals on so for example um, if I put uh, this is going to be awkward isn't it because I'm doing it on camera right so I, I can now hold that in position um, while I'm putting while I'm putting the decals on and it's not rolling about all over the the bench or anything like that but yeah just a simple jig just to hold the shells um, I'm going to hang on to that um, make it into something a little bit more formal but I, I thought that was the easiest way once the shells are painted to uh, to hold them and, and get the decals on right anyway moving swiftly on right so I've got uh, both engines complete pretty much uh, now to do some paint touch-ups and some bit of weathering bit of oil all that sort of stuff just to make them look a little bit more sort of battered and bruised whatever um, and that's where we are um, I've also got a load of things like I've got tubs full of wheels and uh, that sort of thing and these have all got their tyres painted we're ready, ready for further paint um, and we've got a whole box full of stuff all in process and uh, gradually getting there um, it, this is quite a, a long winded build um, and my apologies are it if uh, you're out there expecting a, a quick build um, that's not really going to happen um, I'm now off for a couple of days because obviously uh, um, Saturday I'm up at Telford tomorrow I've got a friend's birthday uh, and we're meeting up for lunchtime uh, for lunch and, and a, a couple of beers or ten um, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one if you've stayed this long thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it and we'll be back soon see you, see you later bye for now